Test, test, test. That's why Vince fired him. <laughs> I don't know if you're a wrestling fan or not, but <laughs> oh, <I love> it. <laughs> we're back here on Jiggy Jag TV and Community Access Television, the lowest rated show on access, but number one in hell. And of course, uh, JiggyJagWhyYou.com. Check that out. And the Bullet Boys happen to be in town. Hello. Go ahead and introduce yourself so the old ladies know where to write the complaint. <laughs> Hi, my name is Mark Torian. I'm the lead singer of a rock and roll band called The Bullet Boys. Now, uh, I'm not going to dispense with all the, the crappy Yunsign band crap questions that I ask all the indie guys. No, I'm no, gonna, I, I wouldn't mind you asking me oh, that. Okay, the one question is, if you could play with any three bands, Living Dead, whatever, who would you play with? You played with everybody. We have never played with Led Zeppelin. They're not that old. <laughs> now, uh, now I wish that we could have played. Now, with now, what the hell are you doing in Salina, fucking Kansas, of all places? We're just working right now. We're uh, doing a warm up uh, on the Road to Nowhere tour. Yeah. Uh, we have a new CD that we're getting ready to drop called Ten Cent Billionaire, and it's on Chafis Records. Uh, wonderful label. Uh, President uh, Bill Chafis is just a wonderful cat. He's given me the opportunity and has blessed me with the opportunity of being signed again and to be able to do the music and to, to be able to go into the studio and to create music without any boundaries. And that's just very hard to come by in this day and age. It's just great, man. We're getting ready to release a CD, hopefully the second week of May. And uh, we're really excited about it, man. We've got a tune out there right now, kind of like a pseudo... I, I don't know, it's just people have kind of gravitated to the song. It's called Road to Nowhere. And I think the last time I looked, we were like number seven on Active Rock Internet Radio. So thanks a lot, all you guys out there. It's awesome. Internet Radio. I remember years ago when I started doing Internet Radio, I was regarded as a punk. And, yeah. now, and now you guys are like quoting it in an interview. That's great. Thank you. Hey, I, <laughs> listen, absolutely. I mean, uh, the technology these days uh, was not around when we first came out in 1988, 89. But uh, the technology right now and technologies are just so amazing. And uh, to be able to get our music to, to, every, to everybody around the world. And it's been, yeah, it's, we've, been, we've toured now. We've gone to Europe and U, uh, UK, um, except for South America, everywhere for the past three years. So we've been, um, myself and, and Richard Green, uh, my drummer, basically reinvented the band and started about four and a half, five, four and a half, five years ago. Is that, is that right, Mark? He, yeah, Mark says, yeah. Okay. You got yourself an intern or something off, off screen over here. You're hollering it. That, that's, my, <laughs> that's my illustrious tour manager, Mr. Mark Rojas, who's doing an amazing job out here. Uh, it's not the easiest of jobs out here to, not that, the, not that the bands on tour are unruly, but Mark's got his hands full and does an amazing job doing all that, setting up interviews, making sure everything's right on stage because the venues that we were playing, uh, if they're theaters or clubs or, or bars, every place has their problems. So Mark's the problem solver. So He's got a, he's got a broken hand. Who do you get into a thug off with? Good Lord. We don't want to talk about <laughs> that. <laughs> now, uh, you mentioned before we, before we went up, Rocklahoma. Yes. You were banned from Rocklahoma. Yes, we were banned from Rocklahoma. It's because you don't have a reality show like Brett Michaels. Is that, is that no, the reason? it's a great moniker to wear. I mean, my band, you know, listen, I have been, made mistakes in the past and have opened my mouth and said some really ridiculous things. And You're talking to the guy that says ridiculous things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, brother. I've had, come, I've had to come back and really mend some bridges and put out some fires and, and really show a lot of honest to God, show a lot of love and empathy for the people yeah. that have been putting on these shows. And we've been selling out. Practically all the shows on the tour, right, Mark? About, about we sold out most of the shows on the tour. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you go. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> you go, brother. Sorry, FCC. Fuck him. <laughs> now, uh, how the hell do you get from being in the 1980s and then all of a sudden still doing music and everything like you guys are doing now? It's and packing places and. Oh, they just getting it going. Good God. We're just blessed, Jiggy. I really, honest <laughs> to God. We're, uh, but we work very hard. Uh, you know, we just drove 20 hours to come out here. Uh, there's some, uh, some, some crazy drives I've been doing, but we have this, we have some juice right now. I don't know what's going on, but 
the fans have really been gravitating to the shows. I mean, there's a lot of acts out there that aren't filling, filling rooms that are brand new and that are, you know, still working. But I just, I, I, I'm just blown away by it. I'm blown away by everything that has come. I mean, we've been doing so many interviews. Oh, yeah. And a couple years, three years ago, I mean, you can't get arrested. But I think one, once that people have seen the performances that we put on, uh, we're extremely, extremely intense band as far as energy yeah. on stage. And uh, we really put it all out there. And that's not just tonight, it's every night. Yeah. It's like, we feel really challenged. And I feel challenged right now as far as uh, the way things are musically. Uh, I see a lot of my contemporaries from that time have moved on maybe into country music or maybe, you know, God forbid they can't sing anymore or they don't, they're not in shape or, you know, they, They've got health. You problems. look like you can still go, brother. Oh, thank you, brother. Yeah, I'm, I'm rocking the six pack, kid. There you go. Yeah. No, I stay in. Those are not six minute abs. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> That's hard work, man, in the gym. But no, no, no. I, my thing is this. I feel like you're cheating the fans, that people that really appreciate your music, oh. if you're not up on stage looking at least close to uh, the greats like Mick Jagger and, and uh, Steven Tyler and cast like that have that really worked hard to you know keep themselves looking great you know no Botox no everything just straight just straight good living man well I will have to say when I was on the rock station here in Salina 927 the zoo which is no longer around but we won't talk about that here no. I was always getting requests in the afternoon people would call me and this one crazy guy and I was hoping to God he was here tonight <laughs> he'd call me and he'd be like dude you gotta play this song Nobody plays it anymore on the fucking radio, but you gotta play. It's called Smooth Up In You. Yeah. Fucking Bullet Boys. Awesome. And oh, <laughs> that's great. You're like, <laughs> no problem. And I'm like, yeah, we've got two versions. We've got the acoustic version, and then we've got the other version. Nice. Where did you guys record the acoustic version? God, I don't remember, actually. I think we just did it, we just did it uh, at a show somewhere. Just pulled it out. You know, we're real impromptu. We're like, you know, we're, we're, people always try to put a moniker on the band. Yeah. And I've come up with this moniker. We're a rock and roll punk rock band. We have a very underground following. Our, our followings, you know, dare I say, very Metallica-esque. They like us. And when fucking fuck everybody else, <laughs> exactly. you know, it's just like, exactly. they, get, they get really, really jacked up, you know. In fact, this guy came up to me the other day, and I don't think he recognized me. He goes, fucking bullet boys, bullet boys. And it's like, whoa, this guy's going to hit They me. love you, man. It's like, it's like, dude, he goes, and he stopped, he goes, Oh my God! And he got all like, "Dude, you're the dude." It's like he was like, "Oh, this yeah. is just so great, man. Fans have just been so amazing out here." And I'll tell you, you've got all the fucking people just jacked up. It's great stuff, man. Congratulations, Listen, brother. Absolutely, Jiggy. Thank you. I'm really, really looking forward to everybody. Go ahead and plug the website, brother. So no, absolutely. Ahead. Listening to this new record, ChafusRecords.net. It will be out in about two months. Uh, I'm going back home to master it, and after that's done. It's going to be out, and uh, God willing, you guys like it. And I think this record is, for me, uh, I've gone through a lot of changes in my life. I've lost a lot. I, I, I've lost a lot, but I've managed to gain myself back and my heart back. And I dedicated this record to God, man. So we'll see how it goes. Well, I'll tell you, from a kid from McPherson, Kansas, of all places, yeah. that shit all the town. <laughs> Listening to you guys in the 1980s is truly an honor, my friend. Oh, I appreciate it, brother. Awesome. Thank you. God bless you, man. You're awesome. We're going to go watch these guys perform here on Jiggy Jag TV. Can I get a picture?